Hello everyone and welcome to skydare.com. My name is Dr. Divan and the topic of the lecture today is mumps. In this lecture we're going to talk about different aspects of mumps regarding its pathogenesis, treatment options, diagnostic modalities. First of all, we'll start with mumps, what mumps is, where does this word come from, how does it manifest to us regarding physical examinations, what is it caused by, what families are responsible for it, and how do we see it on physical examination. Next on, we're going to talk about the causative organism of this pathology, which is paramyxovirus. We're going to talk about what paramyxovirus is, what family does it belong to, and what manifestation does it bring on to us. Then we're going to talk about the epidemiology of this pathology. We're going to talk about what areas were affected the most, what areas had these, epi uh, had these epidemics, endemics uh, before the invent of vaccines, and what areas are still struggling with this pathology. Next on, we're going to talk about the pathogenesis of it. We're going to talk about the incubation period, from where it starts and from where it ends. We're going to talk about the infectivity period, that where it starts and where it ends. We're going to talk about what infectivity period is, what incubation period is. And then we're going to talk about different steps of pathogenesis of this pathology that after getting entry into our system, how does it go along and cause this pathology in our system. Next on, we're going to talk about the clinical manifestation it presents to us with. We're going to talk about different stages and different clinical manifestations which come with those stages. We're going to talk about what happens in prodromal stage. We're going to talk about what happens in early acute stage. And then we're going to talk about what happens in the uh, established acute stage and what clinical manifestation does it present to us with. Next on, we're going to talk about differential diagnoses. That what diagnosis must, must be considered before going on to mumps, which contain meningitis, which contain encephalitis, which contain testicular torsion, which contain other causes of it. We're going to talk about all of them. We're going to talk them through and get to the differential diagnosis, which will lead to our confirmative diagnosis. And for leading to our confirmative diagnosis, we have to go for the diagnostic modalities. We'll talk about what points in history are very important to ask what points and examination are very important to examine, and then what lab test will lead us to our confirmative diagnosis. After getting to it, we're going to talk about what treatment options we have, uh, what treatment modalities we have. Now, the treatment options totally depend upon the different clinical manifestation it presents to us with. Most of the patients will be presenting to us with just inflammation of the uh, parietal glands, so we treat them with just pain reliefs. On the other hand, if a patient is getting meningitis, we'll treat them on the lines of uh, meningitis. Then, after knowing that, we're going to talk about some preventive methods we have. We're going to talk about MMR vaccine. We're going to talk about what antigen our body focuses on. What antigen does it combat with? We're going to talk about what health professionals need MMR vaccination. And then we're going to talk about what are those preventive methods that we have to adapt to or adopt to uh, to avoid this pathology. So for watching this complete video lecture and the variety of lectures which start from anatomy, physiology, pathology, microbiology, pharmacology, medicine, surgery, there are thousands of lectures and there's an option for trial lectures so that you can get accommodated to it. So for availing all of this, please subscribe to skydare.com.